Hi everyone, welcome to English Lessons with In Lingua Vancouver. My name is Lester and today I'm going to be talking about future perfect. You already know about present perfect and how we use it to talk about our experience from the past up to now. Um, so for example, you could say, I have visited Morocco, I have eaten raw horse, I have been a student at this school for two weeks. Well, just the same way, we can use future perfect to talk about our experience from the past up to a moment in the future. So, all we do is put in will, and it's almost the same form. So, I will have visited five countries. I will have eaten raw horse. I will have been a student at this school for five months. And so, something like um, a moment in time for instance, by the time I graduate, or by the end of this month. If you have the idea, idea of the moment in time, then you can talk about your experience up to that moment. You don't have to use will, of course. You can use uh, be going to, the, uh, another way to talk about the future. So you can say, I'm going to have past participle. I'm going to have visited. I'm going to have eaten. Uh, or if you're not sure about the outcome of the future, you might use a different modal verb like may, or might, or might not, I may have, or I might not have. Uh, you may be asking, is this a common tense? Do people really use this? And that's a fair question. Yes, they do. Uh, but when they do, they tend to use contractions, um, like ul, instead of saying will, we'll just say ul. Or, Instead of have, we'll shorten it to the sound v. And so a sentence like this one, they'll have washed the dishes, right? Um, if you're missing these little sounds, it might sound to you like this one. They wash the dishes. But if you're listening carefully, you can hear those contractions. Uh, one of the things you can use to practice future perfect is you can compare your present experience with your future experience. So for instance, I have visited five countries, but by the end of my trip, I will have visited eight countries. I have eaten uh, sushi, but by the end of my time in Vancouver, I will have eaten other kinds of food as well. Um, I have been a student at this school for three weeks, but by the time I graduate, I will have been a student for six months. Uh, and so that's it. Uh, hopefully by the time you uh, have watched a few videos on this channel, uh, you will have subscribed to our video. Um, please remember to leave your comments and subscribe to our channel for more videos and uh, like the video. And thank you very much.